Hello all. In this video, let us take a look into a new feature of Tax Editor, which is going to be released as part of SQL Server 2017. 2017 is the latest version which is scheduled to release this year. In the earlier versions, we were using the MDX editor itself to write the DAX queries, and then that will be saved as a .mdx file extension itself. In, with this release, a new DAX editor has been introduced, which can be used to create and edit DAX queries easily. Uh, that has a IntelliSense support as well, and also that file will be stored as a .msdax extension. So this feature is available as part of SSMS 17.0 version and also a DAX editor has been introduced in Visual Studio 2015 uh, to edit the uh, measures and calculator columns. So let us take a look into a demo on this uh, feature. Uh, this is SQL Server Management Studio version 7.0. Um, as you notice here you could see along with the Previous options of MDX, DMX, XMLA, you could see a DAX query option as well. And also, if you right click and if you say new query, you could see a DAX option. So, once you click this, it will open the DAX editor. Uh, let us try to write a DAX query over here. Evaluate. If you notice, you could see you are getting the um, IntelliSense support over here calculate table of uh, date if you see you can get the support of all the functions and as well as it is listing the table names also and now once you go to the next parameter which is where you can now provide some filters there you can get the intelligent support for all the columns and uh, measures and uh, the tables as well so let us try to type a column name here date of calendar year equal to 2010 let's execute this um sorry i missed the bracket over here let's execute this um there is no research zone because i don't think there is some data available for this specific year let us change it and you could see the output in the tabular format similar to what we used, we used to see in the mdx editor as well so as I mentioned already, uh, the file uh, will be stored in the extension of .msdax and when you reopen it automatically, it opens in this uh, DAX editor and we can continue our um, file editing from here. SSMS is a separate um, installation. It is not part of the uh, SQL Server installation anymore. So it will be having its own separate release cycles and then if you want to get the latest uh, update, you can uh, Go to tools and then you can say check for updates and uh, it would give uh, the list of updates if anything is available if not it would give the uh, current version so this is the DAX editor in SSMS uh, let us move on to Visual Studio to take a look on the what DAX editor uh, functionality has been added over here so previously we were uh, uh, using this uh, fan here to edit the formulas uh, for the DAX functions and the measures. Now we can do this similar editing in the DAX editor which is for um, which is for Visual Studio 2015. Um, here let's go down so you could see the DAX editor. Once you click it, it would open a um, separate pan over here this is similar kind of uh, window which can be um, docked anywhere so i have docked it here for uh, making the editing easy so let us try to create one uh, simple measure like you know uh, sum of uh, quantity or uh, uh, let's pick up something else um, let's create one another measure of uh, uh, let's say sum of unit price sum of unit Sum of unit price equal to sum of here also we can get the we are getting the intelligent support uh, similar to what we have seen in the DAX editor over there. So here we'll say order um, order unit price and then once you confirm this. Can you see this measure got created here? So 
this is one another uh, good feature where you can if, if the um, if you are having uh, more number of lines to be edited here it will be very simple and easy for us to edit and as well as um, you know here you can get the um, insert function um, using this you will be able to insert whatever function you are wanting to use you can use the intelligence also or you can use this as well um, this dax editor for visual studio is also a kind of a separate installation which can be installed separately um, irrespective of our um, our uh, sql server uh, installation sql server 2017 ctp2 is available for download in the below link and uh, ssms and uh, this DAX editor for uh, Visual Studio 2015 are available as separate installations which you can try it out. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will meet you all soon with my next video.